Tonight's weather brought to you by Van Buren County Hospital. Now, your exclusive forecast from KTVO Storm Team 3. Well, we have a lot of weather to get to. We had some showers and thunderstorms late last night, early this morning across the viewing area. Some heavy rain at times. And in fact, uh, we saw some embedded thunderstorms, heavy rain. We picked up about one and a quarter inch of rain here at the station. So again, if you do have some storm totals, email them to me at tcarter at ktvo.com. I'd love to know or put them on Facebook uh, to what your hometown received as far as the precipitation amounts. Well, again, we, do, we did have some showers and thunderstorms, actually some tornado watches just to the south of our viewing area, so this is wacky weather. Now we're going to see some snow move in, and in fact, a winter storm warning is in effect uh, for southeast Iowa, including Ottumwa, also a Centerville, Unionville, Missouri, Milan, and, t and from 9 p.m. tonight until 12 noon tomorrow. Also, winter weather advisories are issued for Kirksville, Memphis, Kiyosakwa, Mount Pleasant from 9 p.m. tonight until noontime tomorrow. So we have had an array of weather moving through. 41 degrees at the Kirksville Regional Airport with light showers. Winds are out of the north at 10 miles per hour. Relative humidity levels 96 percent, dew point 40. A tumble coming in at 35 degrees with cloudy skies. North-northwest winds 12 miles per hour. Relative humidity levels 92 percent, dew point 33. Well, this is one of the models we look at future cast showing around 10 o'clock still, uh, especially into uh, most of our viewing area. We do have some little heavier showers indicated by the darker greens, but notice to the north and west of our viewing area starting to move into Monroe County around 10 o'clock, a ch little bit of a changeover to a wintry mix, freezing rain, and then changing all to snow uh, by t 1, 1 in the morning continuing to move in, especially into southeast Iowa, and envelops all of our viewing area at 5 a.m. Uh, heavier snow indicated by the darker blues. Most of the activity will be out of here as we're heading into the mid to late afternoon hours. So how much snow are we getting? Well, again, uh, varying quite a bit. It's been changing, especially as we're headed into the afternoon. Right now, 4 to 6 inches, especially into southeast Iowa. Mount Pleasant area coming in around 2 to 4 inches one to four inches, Kirksville, Macon area. Uh, so again, you're going to need to get out that shovel. Also, we're going to have to deal with cold temperatures as well as blowing snow. Uh, so visibilities will be uh, pretty low, especially as we're heading into tomorrow. Overnight lows for tonight around 25 degrees. Again, as uh, temperature continues to drop below freezing, that rain will change over to snow. Northwest winds gusting up to 31 miles per hour. And for tomorrow, not moving very much, high of only 28 degrees. Snow again will be ending in the afternoon. Otherwise, we'll have to deal with blowing snow. Northwest winds gust up to 34 miles per hour. And tomorrow night, some much colder air continues to filter in behind the storm system. 10 degrees for tomorrow night. Northwest winds 10 to 20 with gusts near 26 miles per hour. Looking at wind chills, it's going to feel like it's 5 degrees below zero. Thursday's high only 19 degrees. 2 degrees Thursday night overnight low. Friday looking around 25. Upper 30s on Saturday and we're warming up to 44 degrees on Sunday. Of course, you can get your forecast 24-7 at heartlandconnection.com. So uh, a lot of people have had uh, some light jackets over the last couple mm -hmm. of days. Now we're going to need to bundle up. Get out the boots and the snow shovels. Get ready. Get ready. Right. It's coming. Thanks, Teresa.